Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for the uh, 29 subscribers that we do have at the moment. We started at zero. Big thumbs up to you guys. Thank you very much. Um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Freon 134A, which is the, now I guess you could say old Freon, because all the new vehicles, similar to, to like the new Chargers, Challengers, Cadillac, XTSs, um, anything pretty much 2013 and above is going to this um, R1234 system, okay? So we've been searching high and low to pretty much take care of the vehicles that we rebuild. Obviously, if you guys check out our channel, you guys know what we do. But anyhow, um, we are going to actually get you guys started on a quick tutorial about how to get your own system because it's really not available, nobody has it. I've tried AutoZone, I've tried O'Reilly's, I've tried everywhere, okay? And uh, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly where to get it and what to get, because nowadays, this I believe is, yeah, 30 pounder right here, and this we pay about $120 for. And um, this right here alone, right now you can find them on Amazon, so I'm not even gonna say a price, but um, you could find them on Amazon. And that is the new stuff, okay? So the old stuff's for 30 pounds, you get 100 and 110, 120, give or take, whatever your discount might be, you get a 30 pound uh, bottle. Obviously it looks like this. I'm sure you guys know what the old R134 is like. But um, you get that for about 120 bucks. Now if you buy a 10 pound bottle, so it would be, this is like I said, a 30 pounder, you buy a 10 pound bottle of the R1234YF and it's close to, the cheapest I found is about $609, okay? And uh, these little ones, you can find them on Amazon. Um, you can find them at your Napa Auto Parts store. They can actually order these in for you, okay? So that's what I did. I needed them now, so I made it happen, okay? AutoZone and everybody else was two, three, four days out. Napa had them locally at their warehouse so i was able to get them now again you can get them on amazon and you can do this completely at home okay and all you're going to also need is this right here the r1234yf gauge and hose all right and one thing i'm going to tell you guys and show you guys real quick check this out because we're going to go a little bit deeper but this screws on counterclockwise so if you do buy this and it won't seem like it's screwing on normally it doesn't go basically to the right when you turn it okay you got to counterclockwise it and you will get the threads to go into the thing right here boom so you're in it okay see that it won't let go so it goes counterclockwise when you screw this thing on the bottle cap and it gives you a pressure uh gauge right there which is kind of nice but um i'm gonna also go in i got the professional set here too because, you know, with the R134, we've done, I don't know how many. God knows how many. But, um, see, we got this, the professional system right here, which we hook up the old R134A to the vehicles, such as the BMW ZHPs, Lexus 2012s, 10s, etc. So, you guys that are familiar with the... Uh, with the older model vehicles 2013 and below i guess 2012 and below they do the 134a and we have these now here's what i was also able to find these right here see that one two three four yf these are adapters i got these on ebay okay because these fittings will not fit on your challenger okay they will not fit on your cadillac xts Buick lucerne um range rover um bentley's they will not they've all went into this r1234yf and i have no idea why because this stuff is actually flammable and this stuff here is not flammable so that's that's pretty odd right so if this blows up in your car in an accident i guess you're screwed you know you could catch on fire if your legs caught somewhere so that's crazy but anyway this is what they want to do they're charging so basically this 120 dollar 30 uh, uh pound bottle would cost about close to eighteen hundred two grand for thirty pounds of it instead of a hundred dollars. So I guess it's all about money, right? So anyway, what you're gonna need is to do this at home or at your shop. 
you're gonna need to buy these on eBay those are the adapters for the R1234F so that way you can connect them to your professional machine which will be obviously hold on let me grab the blue one so you would obviously connect your blue hose to the new one so that way you can actually vacuum out the newer vehicles okay so once you vacuum them out because you can't use the old R134s then because the reason you can't use these again is because the professional one see that it just literally connects on here and then you just open it and it's an open valve now if we're using these new R1234 little cans instead of buying six hundred dollars worth of a bottle because you know they're not really that popular just yet but anyhow see this will thread on here but let me take it back off it will not puncture the inside of that bottle so therefore you can't get the fluid out of here into here so i can feed it with my professional set so what i did is this came from um i believe that this was from store 02672 okay this was AutoZone I believe it was and they ordered the R1234YF took about two days to get this in but this will connect into the newer vehicles 13, 14, 16s, 18s so on okay so this is a complete setup what you're gonna need is these two to vacuum out to connect your big hoses to because you always need to vacuum out a new system. Anytime you've opened up the system, it has to be vacuumed to make sure all the seals are sealing and there's no moisture in your system before you add refrigerant to your system, okay? So always vacuum. And then you're gonna need the hose to connect to this and then you're just gonna feed it to the vehicle, all right? Basically, uh, that's about it. And let me show you guys actually. What you're gonna do then is, you're gonna locate your AC lines, and this one's actually on the bottom there. We've already took the cap out. Okay, so you're gonna plug up the, the can, and then you're gonna pierce it. And then once you pierce it, once you pierce the can, then you can feed it through while hitting this right here you see this 